Can you give us an update, please, on David Luiz? Do you have any indication as to when he might be able to play for you? But, uh, David uh, uh, has a, a big inflammation in his uh, in his knee, and uh, yeah, and uh, we are trying, we are trying uh, to to solve the situation with the doctor, and uh, it's important to. Uh, to assess the situation day by day, and uh, and to try to to solve this uh, this problem. But and uh, uh, I don't know. I don't know uh, when uh, when he's able to come back with uh, with us. But uh, for sure, uh, with the doctor, with the uh, uh, medical department, uh, we are trying to to solve uh, his uh, situation. But uh, is, is it the situation, uh, this inflammation is uh, in his knee. Is he doing any sort of training work at all, or is he just indoors in the gym? Yeah, but uh, for sure the player is uh, uh, is working apart, and uh, uh, in the last days uh, uh, was out. Uh, and uh, to work uh, in the pool, and uh, no. today I saw him uh, and uh, on on the pitch to try to uh, to run a bit, but very very slow. Yeah, I think that uh, uh, this uh, this is a serious problem, but uh, we hope to to solve this problem uh, um, as soon as possible. Big reports that you had a meeting with him this week. How frustrated is he? By what's happening at the moment, by not playing. Yeah, but uh, I think every play, every player uh, is frustrated uh, when when you don't play, and uh, especially especially when uh, you have an injury, you know. And uh, for 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 sure, there is a lot of frustration for uh, uh, for for the injury, and because uh, I think every player wants. Wants to have the training session. Want to uh, to try to to put the the coaching difficulty in the choices, and uh, yeah, understand because uh, I was player, and uh, when uh, uh, when I was injured, uh, and for sure my my feeling uh, was uh, was very bad. It was uh, sad because uh, uh, you want to uh, to feel very well and then uh, uh, to be available. For uh, for the competition, for the competition, for the training session, then uh, to be in contention for the for the competition. But and uh, uh, the injury is part of uh, our job, of their job, not because now I'm a coach. <laughs> yeah. Tell us about um, Alvaro Morata. Is he available for you again this weekend? He he, he didn't feature at, at Huddersfield. He had a bit of a. Was it a back problem? Yeah, and uh, uh, it's better, it's better. And uh, uh, he trained with, with us, he have trained with us uh, uh, two days ago, yesterday, and also today. And uh, yeah, and he has this, this pain in his back, but uh, he's in contention for, uh, for tomorrow's game. We learned this week that he's watching DVDs of Didier Drogba. Does he need to be more like Didier Drogba as a player, as a striker? I think I think to uh, to different players, uh, different characteristics. Uh, but uh, Didier Drogba, uh, I think uh, he wrote uh, the the history of this club and. Uh, uh, He's a, a wonderful player. He's a wonderful striker. It's also because he's uh, continuing to play, yeah. and uh, he's a uh, he's a great, a great, a great striker, a great striker. I think uh, 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 he's a powerful, um, more, more powerful than uh, than uh, than Alvaro. But Alvaro, don't forget, uh, is a, he has a lot of space for for improvement and. Uh, He's strong physically. Uh, he's a technical player, and uh, I see a, a great future for uh, for uh, for Alvaro. Do you have any other concerns ahead of this weekend's match against 
Southampton, any injury concerns? No, no, no. No, no new injuries, no. And uh, all my players are uh, available for, uh, for tomorrow's game, no. No worries about injuries. As far as Southampton is concerned, do, do, you, do you see them as a, as a slightly different team to uh, the one last season under Paul Puel? Have they, have they changed a little? I can tell you that uh, for sure tomorrow uh, the game uh, will be very difficult for us because for me Southampton is a really good team and uh, they have a lot of uh, good players, young players, but uh, good players uh, with, a, with a great future and I think that uh, for sure I, I would prefer uh, uh, that Southampton uh, 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 to win the game against uh, against Leicester instead of to lose uh, in, in this way for one at home I I heard the interview uh, post game uh, from uh, from the coach um, from Pellegrino yeah and uh, we must pay great attention we must pay great attention because uh, this uh, this team is very strong is a good team uh, the players are very fast, uh, they can play uh, very well in counter-attack uh, and uh, uh, Austin, uh, Redmond, uh, uh, I think uh, Tadic, uh, but uh, there are a lot, uh, a lot of, uh, of good players, Long, uh, uh, but I repeat, uh, and uh, we must pay great attention and tomorrow my expectation uh, to, to suffer to suffer, yeah. I have this uh, this sensation, and uh, uh, we must pay great attention tomorrow. Do you make of the uh, the bottom half of the, the Premier League table at the moment? Southampton in 11th place with 18 points, Swansea in 20th position with 12 points. There's only six points separating the bottom half of the table. Yeah, but. Uh, uh, if you pay attention, uh, and, uh, and this, uh, in this season uh, we dropped the point <coughs> with, uh, uh, if you remember, I guess, uh, 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 West Ham. And West Ham, uh, in, in, uh, in the time that uh, we played against, against them, was uh, at the bottom of the table. Uh, we dropped against Crystal, uh, we dropped points against Crystal Palace. And uh, if you remember, uh, at that time, uh, Crystal Palace was at the bottom. Of, of the table, yeah. I, I repeat, we must pay great attention every game, every game, because every game uh, is uh, is very difficult. <coughs> and uh, for sure, to find uh, Southampton uh, in this position, uh, I'm a bit surprised because uh, their potentiality is uh, uh, is more than this. At the top, Manchester City have now won 15 Premier League matches in a row. You. You played for some great teams. You played against some some great teams. Um, people are talking about them being the the best Premier League team ever. But where do they rank for you? But, uh, for sure, uh, uh, Manchester City uh, is not a surprise for me. And, uh, uh, but maybe uh, also for uh, for you because uh, at the start of the season uh, and. Uh, all the people, all the people said that uh, uh, this league was for two contenders, to to Manchester, not to Manchester. And uh, yeah, this, uh, for sure, this is a great team. Uh, but uh, this team uh, was uh, was a great team also last season. And then this season, uh, during the transfer market, uh, they uh, they reached the first target, and uh, uh, they created uh, uh, a team. Uh, an important team, uh, but if you remember, uh, I I said this uh, before. We must pay great attention, not only in England, because Manchester City is building a strong team uh, to uh, to lead uh, in uh, in Europe in the world. We must pay great attention because uh, uh, we play in this uh, in this league, and. Uh, but at the same time, I think I think that uh, uh, Manchester City is a, is a really good team to have these uh, uh, 15, uh, 15 uh, wins in a row. 
I think that also you must uh, uh, you must uh, uh, um, be uh, uh, also lucky because uh, in, in many in many games uh, they uh, they won at the at the at the last uh, at the last minute or oh, oh, five minutes uh, to go. Yeah, and when you have this type of uh, of run, for sure, uh, also you must be a bit a bit a bit lucky. But I repeat, they are deserving this. They are deserving this, and uh, we have uh, we must have great respect. But at the same time, we have to try to find the right solution to uh, uh, to contend <laughs> to contend the the title to to try to to fight them and. Uh, we have to try to do this, not only Chelsea, but also uh, Manchester United, uh, Tottenham, Arsenal, uh, Liverpool, uh, the, six, the six top teams, the five top teams. So, Antonio, you still think you can contend for the title, but you, you still think it's a, it's a possibility, you haven't totally ruled out catching them? But, and, um, you are doing uh, you are doing me this uh, this question uh, for uh, every time every time but i think that my my answer is was always the same and the only problem that uh, uh, it's uh, uh, it's passing time no and uh, mm. uh, yeah and uh, the time is moving on yeah the time is moving on yeah and uh, they they are continuing to win uh, this is only only the problem because if you remember uh, you, you started to uh, to ask me about this uh, uh, this situation uh, from uh, maybe one two months ago. The only reason I ask is because after the West Ham game, you seem to say that the title was over and they're gone. But now you seem to say that actually they, it's impossible to catch them. Yeah, but when I speak, uh, and I repeat, and. Uh, <laughs> We must be realistic, uh, because in the last nine games, in the last nine games, we won seven games, draw one in Liverpool and lost one. And the, uh, the, the, um, uh, the distance, the gap, the gap uh, improved uh, for, uh, yeah, uh, for, for Manchester City. And it means that uh, in nine games, when you win uh, in nine games seven times, and do uh, you uh, uh, do uh, only once against Liverpool? That is possible eh? to to do uh, to uh, do against against Liverpool and to lose on only one uh, one game and to stay uh, 14, uh, 14 points less. How hard is that to keep to keep going when they they are so re relentless? No, but but uh, I, I think that uh, we must go game by game. We must go game by game to look at ourselves because, uh, I, uh, as I said before, tomorrow it won't be easy to to win the game. And Manchester City uh, knew very well because they played two uh, two games ago against them, and they solved the situation only 96 minutes. Is that why you say you, you, you say you expect to suffer tomorrow? What do you? What do you mean by that? Yeah, for sure, uh, because uh, especially when uh, when uh, uh, when you play against uh, a bad defeat, uh, especially when uh, you play at home and uh, you have a bad defeat, like uh, last uh, last defeat against Leicester. Yeah, I think <coughs> that uh, there is a great attention of your opponent, uh, of the coach, of the club, because uh, they don't want to. Uh, to continue uh, a bad run and to try to, to give a, a, a great answer uh, against, uh, against a good team uh, like Chelsea. But I repeat, and, uh, three, maybe three games, three games uh, ago, uh, uh, Manchester City won against them uh, only at, uh, at uh, 96 minutes. Can I ask you about Michi Batshuayi? How do you see, what do you see his role in, this, in your team? He's part of my squad. Is he ready to? Do you think ready to start in the in the Premier League? I only ask because obviously Morata didn't play in the week and he didn't start. Yeah, but uh, Bashuai uh, Bashuai um, was uh, uh, was out for three weeks 
uh, because uh, he had a, a problem in his uh, in his ankle, and uh, uh, and then uh, uh, he struggled he struggled a bit to find the the right physical condition. Now I think he's uh, uh, he's starting to to stay in uh, yeah in uh, in a good form and. Uh, yeah, but uh, if you remember Bashuai, if you compare Bashuai, uh, the games that he's playing in this season, uh, if you compare last season, uh, he's playing, uh, he's playing, and uh, uh, he didn't play only in the, in the period uh, when he was injured. Otherwise, uh, uh, he played, he played, and uh, uh, don't forget uh, we played the uh, Community Shield. Uh, with the, with him and the start eleven, and then we started uh, our season with uh, with with him. I repeat, and uh, uh, I try to make the best decision for uh, for uh, for the team. And uh, yeah, I, when I decide the the formation, uh, the last part of the body that I see is the head. Okay. Antonio, have you had a meeting yet with the directors, or will you have a meeting to discuss? Which players in January you might want to bring in or, or let go? Do you have a meeting planned? Not, uh, I, I think I think that uh, uh, yeah, it, it's right. It's right to, to have a meeting with uh, with uh, with the club about uh, about. Uh, uh, the transfer, uh, the transfer market in January, you know, yeah. But as you know very well, and uh, I stay here to to work. I stay here. I'm a, I'm a coach. Uh, yeah. And uh, for the transfer, for the transfer market, uh, there is the club, uh, and uh, you have to ask to to the club. But do you have areas that you want to strengthen, and players you think will do that job? But uh, uh, as you know well, as you know very well, because uh, uh, I said this before, and uh, I can give my opinion to my club. But uh, the last, uh, the last word uh, is uh, uh, of the club, and, uh, and uh, I have to respect uh, every decision of, of of the club. Yeah, but this must be very clear. Hi Antonio, um, Charlie Masonda signed a new contract last week. Uh, do you see him maybe going on loan in January, or does he have a future in the first team with you? Yeah, but I, I'm happy. I'm happy for him uh, because uh, yeah, it was right. It was right to sign a new contract, and uh, the club I think uh, took uh, the right decision for for this. Uh, and uh, the players, uh, the player, uh, the player, the same. I think uh, the player uh, took the right decision to sign a new contract with uh, with the club. And then uh, for uh, for his future, I think uh, that uh, uh, the club and the players and uh, uh, they they will take the the right decision. Liam, please. Antonio, the system that we saw against Huddersfield with Hazard as like a false nine. Um, You've played that a few times in the last couple of years, I think in four games, and you've won all of them quite convincingly. Um, what is it about that system that makes it so effective, and maybe what is it about Hazard in that system that makes it so effective? Yeah, but uh, uh, we, we, we played there... Uh, uh, we played uh, in this way uh, last season, last season, and uh, I remember very well. And then uh, uh, I think uh, uh, this is uh, uh, this could be a, a a good a good option, a good option because I think uh, you uh, don't give a point of reference uh, of, of your opponent, and uh, you can play with the three players uh, very good. Uh, Technically and, uh, and also very fast, uh, very good in one v one, creative players. But at the same time, and uh, to play in this way, and uh, it's very important to to have a good balance. And uh, if uh, 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 if our uh, three strikers uh, uh, wants to sacrifice um, uh, without the ball to give us the right balance, yeah, I think this, uh, this could be a good option uh, for the present, for the future, but uh, I repeat, uh, it will be very important uh, to, uh, 
uh, to understand that to play with the uh, uh, three strikers with this characteristic, uh, we need to have a, a good balance. We need to, to have a good balance. Uh, otherwise, uh, you risk to uh, to lose the game. Uh, you risk to to have a lot of a counter attack. I don't want this, but uh, I think my players know very well uh, what I want.